Right guys, just like JJ Mark in Chiang Mai getting some uh, stocking up on bananas for the week. Had some nice, really nice orange juice just then. Yeah, it's had a really strong progression from this morning, guys. I wanted to let you know where I'm at for my fitness. So I had a, a crash about a month ago, but I'm back on top now. I'm training well, feeling a bit stronger than I have been. So it's really good, really positive to be back running again. Really big, uh, big change, you know, makes your perspective of life. You can't train. It's really difficult, but it's a really good way to, you know, look at yourself and see where you're at. But anyway, guys, I had a really good progression run this morning, almost 30k. My training partner, Chris, uh, progression run. So starting off really easy building the miles up, building the pace up as you go on. Really good way to get your body strong, to really kind of develop yourself, getting ready for the longer races like the marathons, the half marathons. So yeah, start yourself off guys, a really good kind of point if you're going for a marathon, you really want to get into good shape and really see where you're at leading up to it. I definitely would recommend trying to do something like a 30k progression run for sure. You know, you, as I said, you're starting off slow, you're building up it's the first hour really easy, and then build the pace up from there, really work towards it, get yourself down to your marathon pace, your goal marathon pace that you're aiming for, try and sustain that for 10K, you know, in those last few kilometers, last few miles, really build the pace up again, and really try and see see how fast you can go. It's a really good way to kind of push a lactic acid threshold over as well, and improve your fitness, build on your fitness. You know, you're kind of tricking the body into getting into that kind of race situation. You're running on tired legs, you've been running for a while, but you know, you're not quite, into the red zone like you would be on race day. So it's a really good way, really good way to boost your confidence, boost your strength, boost, boost your mental strength more than anything, just gets yourself in the zone. You feel really good, guys, yeah, so definitely recommend trying some progression runs if you haven't already, especially if you're looking to do the longer stuff, you know, if you're going for ultras, marathons, half marathons, just really go for it, guys. Even as a new runner, if you know you're not training for something as, as long as a marathon, a half marathon, even if you're just training for something like a 10K, then uh, progression is still obviously going to be benefit for you. You know, you start your first few miles easy, get yourself nice and warmed up, build the pace gradually, and then work yourself into you know a good, a good tempo towards the end, close onto your race pace. You know, really kind of home yourself in, get your body adjusted and used to running, running towards that pace. You know, physically, mentally, it's going to have so many adaptions for you, and it's really going to make a difference when it comes to race day. Get on that start line, you're going to feel so much more prepared, so much more ready, and it's really kind of bridging the gap between doing those hard interval fast sessions if you're doing them. Um, you know all those harder faster tempo runs and you know the longer stuff as well as bridging the gap and mixing the two and obviously that just it's good good for yourself good for your soul good for your running and yeah good good way to see your progression see how you're doing when you come to race day then you're ready you know you're ready to go and you're really going to hit it hard guys so um, yeah let me know if you found this helpful if you want to see more little videos like this of me just talking randomly at markets or whatever I'm up to thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing if you have already. If you haven't, you know, click that button down there, guys. Lots more content on the way, and it really means a lot to me, you know, to see people following the journey. And uh, really excited for everything to come. Some big plans for this year. Really looking forward to it. I've got some good announcements as well to make soon. So um, yeah, let's get out there. Let's make 2016 a good good year for training and really working on our goals and reaching them. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy running.